couple of things about the design of the site that are most important. Um, one is that uh, we, we use the circulation path to kind of reveal the beauty of the site. And for example, when you come in at the corners, we've chosen the points of entry where you look at the most inspiring views of the site. And those are, you can see behind me the standing water and they're down in the ground. And so that, that has become a real focus of the, of the design by the way we take the path and we point you when you come into the site directly at these features. And then we've worked with the, with the university and, the, and, and Chuck and his staff to think about the pieces of sculpture and where they could be kind of situated in the landscape so that their qualities as works of art are um, sort of set aside and special and kind of in their own realm. Um, the design is its really simple. Um, it's a meandering path. It's completely free of steps. It's totally uh, accessible to people with movement limitations and people in wheelchairs. Um, Chuck and I were saying it's probably a great place for kids and their bicycles. Um, so you know, that'll, that'll be probably a fun spillover from the new playground that's just been created. And you know, I think that's great because I think the idea of the, gar of the sculpture garden here is that we want to make the idea of sculpture accessible to the public and the community. It's a, it's a collection of work that's been chosen, which is, you know, I think very friendly. Um, and uh, I guess another thing I want to talk about is the site lighting. It's, Camp, this part of the campus is kind of dark at night, so we've got pedestrian scale lighting that's using the fixture that is used on the rest of the campus and then feature lighting by the works of sculpture that are, are going to be placed. And that will all be kind of tied together with a, a mosaic of small mowed lawns and then a prairie restoration. So from the perimeter of the site, there'll be kind of waving grasses. It'll, it'll, it'll be uh, complementary to the um, campus in the way that it contrasts the sort of the precision of most of the rest of the campus with the straight they're not always straight lines of trees but often straight lines of trees and the mowed grasses and everything's kind of manicured so this is going to be a little bit more relaxed it's a little bit more at the edge of the campus So uh, it might be interesting to talk about the plants on the site. Uh, it's got a wonderful collection of volunteer trees that are here. Uh, we've got um, some classic Midwestern trees. We've got a lot of hickory, uh, a lot of oak. We've got some locust, a couple of maples. It's kind of a really nice mix. And uh, we're trying to build a, a palette of new plants that we're planting to complement that, but also to work with the kinds of soils that we have here on this site. So uh, in the lower areas we're going to be planting Tupelo which has that great, that's that first tree to turn red in the fall. It'd be just about now probably it'd be red. Um, and uh, we're using some of the native beech because um, beech trees hold their leaves uh, all through the fall and into the early part of winter so you've got some sense of foliage all through the fall. That great look in winter of some of the dried leaves holding on um, and we've got uh, we've got uh, tulip poplars and uh, what else do we have Jason? Shagbark. Shagbark hickory which was a bit of, bit of a struggle to find but perfect for the site you know they love the moisture on a site like this and um, we've also with pockets of shrubs and we've chosen things that are going to be seasonally interesting, things with berries in the winter and uh, things that are kind of good, good fall color like um, aronia. And then the, the grasses, as I, as I said before, are more of a native prairie look, but, but short, you know, sort of in this height, sort of, so it will, you know, still be a site that from the edge you can see into. And then on the side towards the uh, parking lot where the tailgating goes on, where we've got a lot of exposure to parking, we're creating a veil of, of trees over there to give a little bit of separation between that area and the sculpture garden. 